Maybe it's time to let evil get the upper hand. You know, sometimes we as people that believe in the light, we see darkness all around us and we want to fight against it, right? But there's a time and a place where you have to let God be God and get out of the way and let Jesus be the one who takes care of the evil in your life. I always think of the story when Joshua wanted to go into the promised land, but it wasn't the right time. And so what God did is he opened Joshua's eyes and he looked up and he saw an army of angels ready to go and fight in Joshua's behalf. I wonder if maybe you are blind to the fact that the battle belongs to the Lord. Are you standing in the place of God? Let God be God. Give your concerns over to Jesus. Any situation where you feel like you're working so hard and you can't let go might be the thing you need to let go of. Let the angels of God do the work that only they can do. Let the God of angel armies fight for you. Remember, the Bible says that the battle belongs to the Lord. What are you battling over in your life? What are you fighting so hard to do? You're trying so hard to fix this person and take care of that situation or to fix yourself, to control others. You're just so focused on changing the system, changing everything. And maybe God is saying, cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. Now, the reason why most of us don't like to let go is because of pride. We think, and I can do this. Remember that letting evil win in the short term, it doesn't mean that you're letting them win in the long term. I love Philippians 2 where it says that even though Jesus was one with God, that he became nothing for the joy set before him. He endured the cross. He endured death because he knew there was a glory to come. But did you catch that? Even though he is one in every way with God and he is God, he became nothing for the sake of his purpose. Sometimes we have to lose the battle so we can win the war. Do you need to be humble in a certain situation right now? Are you being egotistical, full of yourself, too proud to let God be God? Stop trying to be the savior of the world. Let God's justice take over. Psalm 57 says, the king puts his trust in the Lord. Even those of us like you and me who are kings and queens of our lives and careers, even we have to submit to the ultimate king of kings and lord of lords. Humble yourself. Submit to the king. Let the justice of God roll like a river. Stop being the judge and jury of every human in your life, of your kids, of your boss, of your neighbor, of your, of the, your employees in your, in your business or the people in your church. Let God be God. He will come and save you. He will not leave and or forsake you. His justice is perfect. And how do you know when the justice of God comes? Because then we're in awe of God. It wasn't you. It wasn't your strength, your wisdom. It wasn't your amazing power. It was the grace and the justice of God. Let God do his work in your situation, in your circumstances. Stop making yourself sick trying to get in everybody's business. Even if it comes at a price for you, even if it means that you have to go through a season of humiliation and of loss and even of personal loss, it's better that you lose the battle instead of losing your soul. Like Jesus said, what gain is it if you win the world but you lose your soul? Stop losing your soul. Let God's justice take control and you will live a life of joy, of worship, and awe.
Thanks so much.